Three, two, one. What's up YouTube and welcome back to Bike Hub Japan. So today you're joining us, me and Andy. What's up? Hi. Hi, hi Andy. And we're doing our first ever dual motor vlog. Alright, good All times. Right. So we're not just going to ride around and randomly point at stuff and say, wow well, look that's a red car. Mm -hmm. We're not doing that are we well, There's a black car there. Oh, I didn't helps. see it. I missed it. It wasn't shame. red so I thought it was valid you know a valid point <laughs> no all right so basically what we're going to do today is we're going to tell some spooky stories Woo Woo. because me and andy are kind of fans of uh, the mysterious universe podcast yeah i love that podcast yeah it's pretty awesome when so the I'm, new episode drops i'm always it's the first thing i do yeah is it friday night uh, I forgot. <laughs> I guess oh, I'm caught big out. Fan. You caught me out, but it drops on uh, YouTube every now and then. I watch it on YouTube. Okay. Because um, or I listen to it on YouTube because yeah. I can just put it on the TV in my living room. Right. And walk around and do stuff and uh, listen yeah. to spooky stories. Okay. Well, I, I always listen to it on my uh, what do you call it? My Google speaker at home. At, at yeah. Bed, at bedtime. Bedtime stories, eh? Yeah. But right. anyway, so on Mysterious Universe, for you guys who don't know, they talk about anything weird basically from ghosts to ufos to aliens to nazi bases on the moon to past life regressions like anything to leprechauns yeah <laughs> leprechauns there yeah. was a leprechaun and they've got a good sense of humor they're pretty funny and so we love it and they're australian which makes it even better yeah obviously obviously so uh yeah so today we're going to tell some mysterious universe style stories all right do you so, want to go first you're going to go first you can go first. I can go first. Well, thank you very much. You want me to go first? No, I'll do it. I'll do it. It's okay. All, good. all right. So I got this um, kind of interesting oh, one. That's scary, right there. Yeah. The dude spooky. stopping randomly on a on a carriageway. Damn it! Is sorry. Sorry. Do go on. I so so so. Right. Chop so you off. ghosts. Yeah. Everyone thinks ghosts are like trapped spirits of dead people or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. or generally. Yeah. But so this story is it kind of questions that a little bit so what happened was it was back in I think I'm gonna say the 90s right and there was this family and they bought this plot of land somewhere in the States and so they had this land like checked out to make sure it wasn't like a, you know some sort of like tribal graveyard area or whatever and it was it was just found to be just just normal simple land so they bought this land and they built a house then uh, so they were living there, with the, it was the grandparents living with the parents and a grandson. Mm -hmm. So one day, um, totally out of the blue, the grandma is just sat in her rocking chair watching TV and all of a sudden she sees three hooded figures, like shade, shady type, ghostly apparition type people walk into the living room. Whoa, okay. So they look at her and then they act like they're terrified and they run out of the room. Jesus. Okay. Right? And so the grandma has never had any kind of like spooky things happen to her before. And because yeah. and she's like, you know, a good, honest, honest person, the, the family all believes her. And this, the, this story just like, you know, becomes like a family story, like grandma saw a ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. All right. And so then years pass and um, all the, the grandma passes away. And then a couple of weeks after the grandma passes away, the grandson, who's now like a teenager, he's uh, with his mates and they come into the house and they see his grandma in the rocking chair as a ghostly apparition. Whoa, okay. And they look at her, they all look at each other and then they're shit scared and they run out of the house. Oh, no way. Okay, yeah. I just got chills up my spine. Yeah, so basically what the grandma saw uh, was them from the future. And oh what they God. what they saw was her from the past, and so obviously both parties, like the the ghostly grandma grandma and the ghostly kids, they were all terrified because, as far as they were concerned, they'd both seen ghosts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So then you know that puts into question then well how uh, how yeah, yeah how like black hole or something like that yeah exactly a vortex in the living room and it yeah and then it obviously it puts into question like time mm. so time isn't linear because uh they'd seen you know she'd seen them from the future and then they'd seen her from the past yeah uh, you know so, so what the story goes on there's, there's no more to it. that's basically it oh, okay it, it stops yeah. there right that's, yeah 
But then when I was reading about this story, I found another one which is almost identical, which is that only one person is involved in this one and nobody died. So this little kid, who's like six years old, uh, in his house and he sees this, uh, again, it's a hooded character because this is like 90, so everyone's wearing hoodies and shit. Right, so but he not, sees, not a bonnet. No, not a bonnet, not like okay. a, a cape or anything. All right. So this six-year-old, he's in the living room and he sees a ghostly apparition wearing a hood who's making himself a peanut butter sandwich. By the looks of it, he's got a piece of bread and he's like using his knife to spread the, <laughs> the whatever. As, as you do. Yeah, as you do, as ghosts tend to do. Yeah. And so the boy shits himself, tells his parents, and they're like, oh, don't, don't be silly. There's not gonna be a ghost making a peanut butter <laughs> sandwich. Forget about it, forget about it. I've got news for you. Yeah, so then, skip uh, 10 years to the future. He's a 16 year old boy in the same house. One day, he's making himself a peanut, be peanut butter sandwich, wearing a hoodie, mm. when he sees the ghost of a six-year-old child. Ah, oh, again, okay, the same kind of... Yeah, the same kind of thing. Is there a word for this? Is there like a... Um, what's that um, Leonardo movie? Oh, uh, Inception. Yeah, is it something like, like a ghost kind of Inception? Like, yeah. I, I don't know. I think it's... I don't have the vocabulary to describe this thing. I think it's like retro causality, maybe? Right, I mean... On the podcast, yeah. uh, Mysterious Universe, MU podcast, yeah. they'd, they'd have some sort of um, description, like a, a word for it, right? Yeah, they've, they're wordsmiths, man. Wordsmiths, yeah. they got a word for everything. I, I've got like 10 words in my lang <laughs> entire language. Yeah, most of them are curse words. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think it's retro causality. Okay, yeah. But uh, I'm not 100% sure yeah. about that. Someone's that's been doing burnouts. Right. Yeah, that's a pretty... That's a tidy donuts back Some there. Yeah. I don't know if it showed up on the camera, but... Fair fucking play. All right, so that's my kind of weird ghost story. It's more like, well, it's not dead people. It's sort of like time travel or time slips or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, what what you got for me, son? Um, I've got some options. Um, we can go the ghost kind of story or yeah. UFO, or um, I could just say like bush ghost. Bush ghost. Um, or just a regular. Uh, no, how about a bike related one then? Motorcycle related. Yeah, have you got your ghost rider story? <laughs> I do. Um, I have a, a ghost rider story, yes. Okay. Um, I have so many stories actually because I'm like a 50 50 believer. Yeah. I, don't, I wouldn't say I'm a believer, but I'm not a non believer yeah, in these kind same. of things. Same, same. And I've had some strange experiences. I've, you know, I've been here, done that. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but, anyways, I digress. Yeah. Um, the ghost rider story. I've told you this one before, but this is... Yeah, let's tell the audience, yeah? Let's okay. tell your... I don't remember your, this one. Your subscriber people. I don't remember you telling me a story. <coughs> oh, okay. This is the first time, yeah? The, All right. There's cars behind us uh, wondering why we're going so slow. <laughs> okay, let's speed up. <laughs> speed up and I'll let you know. Yeah, go on So, uh, before I moved to Japan, uh, which was in um, uh, April 2013, I lived yeah. in, I'm Australian, and I lived on the Gold Coast in Australia, and yeah. uh, I had a, a motorcycle, I had a GSX-R 750, 20th Hi. anniversary model, I, I loved that bike, Sweet. and I used to spank it around um, the hinterland around the Gold Coast, and uh, Brisbane as well, for those who know it, yeah. so you got, uh, in Brisbane you got Mount Nebo and Glorious, Mount Glorious, and no. on the Gold Coast you've got uh, Beachmont, um, Advanced Town, etc. I was going up a road called, um, God, i got a mental blank, it's, it's all all in the past now, um, where they had the big fires, they always have fires through there, Springbrook, there we go, Springbrook, Springbrook Mountain, uh, Springbrook Road, I was going up there one day, and this, I used to leave pretty early in the morning, like, um, get out before all the traffic, you know, kind of break of dawn type thing, yeah, here's the shrine by the way, oh, okay, and uh, one day I was going up there. And let's let's keep going. We'll come back to the shrine, eh? Okay. Um, yeah, it would have been probably 6:30 in the morning, like really early. No yeah. one around, and I was having a good old time on the 750, just absolutely spanking it. And um, I I'd been riding for a while before then, so I don't think I was particularly slow. Um, anyways, halfway up, I realised there's a bike behind me and yeah. I'm like wow this is interesting and it's in a kind of a remote part of the if you've been there it's kind of got a little bit of a vibe of middle of nowhere for some sections yeah and um, 
this bike was uh, keeping up with everything I did. I thought me being like the prima donna <laughs> in my uh, racing suit yeah. uh, on a on a Jixa 750, I thought I'll I'll lose him and, and show him who's who's the boss. <laughs> and so I put more into it. I put everything I had into it without like ending up wrapped around a tree. Yeah. And this guy, I could not shake him. <laughs> so when I pulled up uh, toward the top before it gets to the advanced town road, yeah, um, I pulled off and he pulled up behind me. And uh, it's just me and him out on the road, no one else. And um, uh, I noticed he was on an old bike, um, like an FZR 750 oh, okay. from like a good 10, 15 years before my GSXR at the time. Yeah. Anyways, um, so that uh, pissed you off a bit. No, I was like, "Oh, how, how you going?" Like, tried to talk. Like, w we talked a bit, um, but he was a very. It was a strange thing. He was a man of few words. Um, he's just like, "Oh, you want to, you know, you want to ride together?" And I'm like, "Okay, let's let's do it." So we got out onto the Advanced Town Road eventually, and uh, again, like I, I led at first, and I couldn't shake him at all. Um, <laughs> and then eventually, he just overtook me, and I'm thinking, this bike from you know 15 20 years before my bike has no business being this fast <laughs> no matter how good the rider yeah um, but he was like doing things that I would not dream of doing on corners like and um, eventually he lost me and just left yeah. um, and I thought I'll catch up down a straight or something and I didn't didn't never saw him again he just vanished um, I just couldn't really explain it. at the time I didn't think anything of it but over the years I think back to it and there, there was just something strange about the whole interaction and the way he acted and it was just really weird and I just got to thinking was he maybe not kind of real, not of this world? <laughs> <laughs> so I looked it up oh. and um, I looked up the news, the history of that area Yeah. and there was a guy on oh. a FZR 750 back in the day yeah. who um, went off the road around there and, and no killed himself. Way. Oh shit. And um, yeah. Do you believe that last part? No. Is no. That, yeah. is that I true? made up that last bit, but ah, you bastard. it sounds good for the story, right? Yeah. <laughs> Actually I, I never did look it up, but I'm pretty sure being yeah. the Gold Coast of Australia, I'm pretty sure if you look it up there'd be several FZR seven fifties yeah. wrapped around trees up there <laughs> over the years. Oh. Luckily that day there wasn't a GSXR wrapped around a tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you should have not just made the whole thing up because you don't want to admit that you were beaten by an <laughs> old dude on a shitty old bike. Uh, no, I mean, it, it's just, there's something off about that whole interaction, man. Like, yeah. To this, oh, let's stop for these boys, uh, eh? Uh, let's do the right thing. Safety first, safety second. Yeah. Poor, poor <laughs> kids, they yeah. spend too long at school every day. That's a nice little bike he's got there. Yeah. You know, like, um... <coughs> Do you ever have six cents as well when you're riding a bike? Yeah, I mean, I do a lot of riding by myself too. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, I've had some like weird vibes occasionally on a bike, but usually I'm okay because um, on a bike you feel like nothing can touch you, right? Like it's, you know, you're the captain and yeah, yeah, yeah. nothing can keep up with you or whatever, but uh, yeah. except for this white car behind us. Yeah, he, still, he's late in a hurry. He's getting pissed <laughs> off with us. Yeah, like um, um, before, I lived uh, with my mate who is also my, my riding mate, and we used to uh, we worked at the same bike shop together. Yeah. So we'd come home from work together, and we'd like hit the twisties and stuff. And a couple of times, we'd be going around a corner, sort of like this, yeah. but, a car, but fast a faster corner. Yeah. And we just get this feeling, and we both sort of signal to each other with our hands, like slow down, slow down, slow down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we get to like the apex of the corner where we would have been doing like maybe 60 miles an hour or something and there was a tractor doing a u-turn oh my god so, so if yeah. we'd have carried on like there is absolutely no we, way we would have. yeah we could not have avoided hitting it yeah and that happened to us like quite a few times and wow. we also used to get six cents about the cops as well like yeah. we'd be going tear us in down this road and we'd be like oh wait 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 and we, we'd both like automatically slow down like we you know before intercoms or anything yeah and we Sure enough, there'd be a cop car waiting there that if we'd have carried on, you know, we'd be doing like way over 160 miles an hour on this, this road. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we would have like maybe even had prison time for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Well, yeah. you know, I've, I've got plenty more stories like this. Um, most of them not bike related, but yeah, um, that's about the only bike related one I could really think of. Yeah. Um, so oh, I guess God. we should we should do this again, eh? Yeah. I've got a quick UFO one. Let's have a quickie. A quickie. Yeah. All right. So I love a good quickie. I love it. Yeah. So this happened like when I was at school. So I don't know how old I was. I reckon. Maybe. 18, 19, <laughs> like yeah. when you're held back in first grade. three years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. No, like, I'm, gu I'm guessing 13, right? And uh, so I was camping out at a friend's house because he had a massive garden. And um, we're in, our, in the tents, like with the, the flaps open, man. Nice open flaps in the tents. Yeah. And uh, we were just like lying down and looking up at the stars. And... Uh, so it's not like a UFO as in like I didn't see this you know like flying saucer type thing it was literally just stars yeah, yeah but the stars started doing all weird dances and moving around and stuff right yeah 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 and then they kind of like merged into one big star and then they shot and then it, this one big star just shot off oh okay yeah and like much like that uh, the boy that saw the ghost of himself like oh, my pet yeah my, my parents were just like no shut up there's no such thing as UFOs you're talking nonsense, right? Then on the way home, when the, my parents obviously, they picked me up and we were driving home, on the local radio station, there was a phone in about how many UFO reports they had last night. Yeah. And so, yeah, then my parents saw. Yeah, and what, what part of the UK was that? This, was, this is in Kent. Okay, I don't know where it was, but uh, there was there's some uh, pretty famous UFO stories from, from, the, from England, right? Yeah, there's quite a lot. Yeah. There's uh, one thing about UFO th sightings that a lot of people don't maybe maybe don't know is that a lot of them have got uh, links to like nuclear storage bases yeah, and stuff. Yeah, like military stuff. Yeah, and yeah. so yeah, like some of the really famous ones are, are like that, like you know, around military bases. Yeah. But my town, we didn't have a uh, air force or anything. We had like an army garrison in town, but yeah. I don't think they had nuclear weapons. <laughs> so just a random one. Yeah. Yeah. So. But yeah, like I kind of, I don't disbelieve and I don't believe at the same time. Yeah. But I'm yeah. just, I'm happy to listen to any weird stories that I can get my ears to. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I'm, I'm still on the fence, but I'm kind of more of a believer than a, well, a disbeliever. Maybe, I, I don't know, maybe we're going a little long this time, but uh, yeah. next time I'd like to tell you about my ghost story that actually pushed me over to the, you know, the, the far side of 50% in, about ghosts in regards to believing in ghosts. Okay, that um, sounds good. I had an experience with a uh, an actual ghost hunter. Yeah. Um, and she was from Australia too, here in Japan. Yeah. Um, she she had a great website, if I can just plug it really quick. I hope go, it's still go, up go. there. It's called hidingfromjapaneseghosts.com, <laughs> I think. Wow, cool. And uh, she, she's no longer in Japan, so I'm not sure if the website's still up. But it was a great database of, um, of ghost stories in, in Japan here, so... Yeah. Anyway, she took me to a place um, and it changed my mind really? about ghosts. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm like a firm believer. Well, no, I mean, I can't explain that one away. But maybe that's a story <laughs> for another day. Okay. Yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll try and hook up again in the next few weeks and Let's do, do it. Let's ride really two. slowly in front of cars again next week and yeah. tell more stories. Alrighty. Roll so. blockade. You heard that first, guys, and he's up for a, a second round of spooky stories. Yeah, maybe your viewers have some stories of their own. Yeah, yeah, put it in the comments below. So we've got to think of a cool name for this little uh, spooky story series. Maybe scary we, AF. Scary as f <laughs> Maybe we can ask the subscribers to think of a cool name for us. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. yeah. Just All leave right the then. title blank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for now. All right, so should we end it there then, Andy Pandy? Alright man. Alright guys, see Adios. you in the next video. Adios! Muchachos.